Hi everybody, um, today I'm dropping on in on Richard Finn at the Hilton Cambridge City Centre. Hi Richard, see so you've got Hi. a good day. How good are you morning. Doing? Yeah, good, I'm good. How are you, Judith? I'm very well, thank you. Oh, look at your lovely dog. What's his name? This is Dasher. He's my lockdown companion. Hi Dasher. <laughs> That's our first dog, first video chat with the dog. <laughs> Um, Richard, can you just tell everybody um, what your role is there at the hotel and um, a little bit about the hotel? Yep, so um, my name's Richard. I'm the general manager here at the Hilton Cambridge City Centre Hotel. Uh, I've been here for four and a half years now since the uh, hotel converted to a Hilton back in December 2015. Um, we are located in the city centre of uh, Banksmack in the city centre of Cambridge. Um, and we are uh, we have 200 bedrooms and five meters. Thank you. So lockdown looks a little bit different from for you. I mean, certainly some of the rooms that I've seen recently it doesn't look like that's your lounge. <laughs> um, no. You're, you're still working as well. <laughs> yes. So 90% um, of the hotel team have been furloughed. The hotel is currently closed. We are in day 43 of our closure since the 24th of March, when wow. we were instructed by the government to close restaurant bars, gyms, hotels and so on. Um, so I, how I've been coping with the lockdown is I'm quite glad that I still have a routine where I'm yes. coming to and from work, uh, yeah. from home every day. Um, a couple of the team that we've got in the hotel is eight of us who are essentially looking after the hotel. So um, we have to stay on property and stay awake, um, but we have two per shift covering security of the hotel. Um, and uh, it, But it's nice to be coming to and from hotel so I don't have a home office I just sit yeah. in an empty an empty lounge bar <laughs> there's worse places you could be locked down I'm sure yes. <laughs> so in terms of um, you said that the routine has definitely helped you um, during this period of lockdown and uncertainty is there any uh, anything else that you've been doing during lockdown to get through yeah it's it's about keeping busy um, and I know when you're when you're at home in isolation, it's it's a lot harder. Um, but in the hotel, there's been a lot of jobs that have kept us busy. Um, so although we're a small team, we've we've done we've caught up with a lot of jobs that we've been wanting to do for quite a while. Um, we, we're looking at all of our bedrooms. We're cleaning. We're tidying. Um, although it's very strange and eerie to be in a, a 200 bedroom hotel um, in lockdown, um, there's a lot we can do when there's no guests here. Um, and catching up on those jobs. So staying busy really is very much the coping mechanism for the team here in the hotel, um, as well as having a routine as well. So even though it's strange days and there's no guests, having a routine where we're, we're eating lunch together, having dinner together, um, we're doing jobs together and having that routine every day, I think is important as well, just with coping and, and keeping a, a, a sane mind. Um, yeah. Obviously we miss restaurants, we miss cinemas, we miss nights out. Um, but having the routine and having lots to do, uh, and we've all got our lists, um, it really is keeping us sane and positive at the moment. Yeah, and I think um, unlike um, teams such as ours, where we're, we're all working remotely, I guess you have had that, you still are having that positive interaction with, with members of the team that are still coming yeah. in every day. So yeah. um, although it sounds as though your, your jobs might be almost slightly different at the moment, yeah. doing everything. Yeah, in, in, in 22 years with Hilton, this is the most I've, uh, 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 being a general manager now, um, I'm not, uh, I have teams that do all the jobs and I'm now learning their jobs. Um, yeah. again. <laughs> so I'm having to do a lot of the jobs again now. So that's quite nice, going back to the front line. So I was going to ask you what you miss so much about your venue. And I actually think I know the answer to this one now, but as you're in the venue, what is it that you're missing while you're there? It's quiet. It's yeah. too quiet. Yeah. We miss we miss the guests. Um, we miss the visitors, and I personally miss the team um, yeah. and being with them. We we can talk. Uh, we can do little videos back and forwards. But being here in person with the team is what I miss the most. And as said, with ninety percent of them on furlough at the moment, it's um, it's difficult um, not having them here in the building. Yeah, and um, my other question that I've been asking everybody is. Um, what have they personally been learning during lockdown? It sounds like you've been busier than ever, so I'm not sure that you've had any spare time, but um, have you picked up any new skills? Um, as, as said, I think um, 
I've learned a lot about the team that I'm with. Yeah. So the skeleton crew, the eight of us, um, there's a chef, uh, there's a front of house manager, there's a reservations manager, the ops manager, um, a, an engineer, um, and the Knights team. Um, and I've learned a lot more about them because we're we're in close proximity with each other. We're, we're dining together every meal period. Um, and so we've learned a lot about each other. Uh, I've learned a lot more about my hotel and all the nooks and crannies and the storerooms <laughs> where people hide things yeah. uh, that we've now sorted out, um, which, which has been enlightening. Um, personally, I have rediscovered Lego. Now, I know this sounds oh, really odd. Interesting. As a, as a, as a 44 year old man, um, I've discovered adult Lego. So, oh. um, and that really has helped pass the time at home with not being able to do anything. So, when I'm not in the hotel, I have been at home and I know lots of people have been doing jigsaws and embroidery and cooking. Um, I have bought rather expensive, I must say, uh, Lego. So massive, feature long Saturn V rockets. Amazing. The Star Wars <laughs> Lego sets for adults, uh, 18 plus. Um, and they take ages to build, 2,000 pieces. Um, wow. But that's something I've really enjoyed kind of getting back into, um, having loved Lego as a kid. Yeah, um, yeah, fantastic. And, um, so yeah, and I've realized how much, I've learned how much I miss going out to restaurants. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. We, we just took it all for granted, didn't we, a little bit too? Yes, before. yes. Yeah. So I'm, I'm already planning to make my reservation at the IV as soon as they reopen. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll be looking forward to um, a Lego model of maybe King's College Chapel or the Green <gasps> maybe. Yes. What a good idea! Yes, <laughs> I'll, work, I'll work on that. I will present it in the hotel, what we did during lockdown. Absolutely, yeah, that sounds like a great idea. So, um, obviously, the venue such as yours, this has been such a, a devastating and mm. period of uncertainty, um, which still is continuing. But I know that you guys are working hard behind the scenes planning for day one. Um, what would be your message to organisers at the moment? Okay, so I think for organisers, when the lockdown's lifted, when international travel resumes um and i think everybody expects it's not going to resume to normal levels that we're used to for the rest of this year yeah. um the fact is when we do reopen um we will have taken a lot of steps to ensure uh the cleanliness and sanitization of the hotel yeah so last week hilton did roll out uh, publicly their hilton clean program so we've got a 10 point enhanced guide for each bedroom uh which will be cleaned we're removing objects uh, such as pads, pens, the guest directory, which will be available on request. We're taking those out of bedrooms. Okay, yeah. Those are kind of the shared items, and we don't tend to, in between guests, and I know this sounds bad, but we don't tend to clean the pen, for example. Of course, um, yeah. So those items we will take out of the bedrooms and have them on request. We will enhance our cleaning of telephones, um, of doorknobs, of lift buttons, um, and we will seal bedrooms. So once it's been cleaned and sanitized, there'll be a sticker that goes on the door that seals the room and then the guest it will be the first person to enter that room once it has been cleaned. So, um, and then there's elements for public areas as well and meeting rooms. So we're, we're introducing the enhanced Hilton Clean program uh, globally in all hotels, uh, which is planning for the future. I think one thing to think about as well is uh, when with events, when we can have gatherings again, and obviously we're following government advice oh, on yeah. when that happens, but we're gonna have to look at our capacities so at the moment we can do 200 theatre style or 150 for banquet, but yeah. what will those capacities change to? Will they halve or how will it look in a meeting room with yeah, uh, elements absolutely. of social distancing? So we, we've got a piece of work to do over the coming weeks where we have to revise our capacity charts and, and involve you in that as well so that yes, you, you, you can yeah. help us to sell the space again but yeah. to these revised capacities. Uh, yeah. And a long gone, the, long gone are the days for the moment of 200 networking events and cocktail parties and dinners. Yes, um, yeah, it's going to be so very something, different. Yeah, um, but we are following government advice. Um, bedrooms will open first, then I think restaurant and bars will come next, and then meetings and gatherings again. But we are we are here. Uh, we are still currently taking inquiries for next year and for the, the, the last quarter of this year. Um, yeah. So although we're closed, we are taking inquiries and we are answering questions from uh, from booking agents, from guests directly, from companies and themselves. Um, and we are taking all guidance and care in making sure that we are clean and safe, both for our team members, our visitors and, and our guests. Thanks, Richard. It's good to know that there's so much going on in the background. Um, I guess a lot of this obviously is hinged on um, government advice. 
but it's good that there's so many scenarios being looked at and planning for all those different scenarios. And I think here at Meet Cambridge, we're confident that Cambridge will come back and we will meet again. And um, we're just counting down now to when that might actually might be and hoping that everybody's prepared. And um, I know everybody's going to be so welcoming once that uh, once yeah. the program is fully really lifted. Um, in terms of when you can open those doors again, what's the first thing that you're going to do? Me personally or the hotel? <laughs> uh, you personally, I think. Let's talk about you personally. I think, well, I I, uh, I had to celebrate my birthday in lockdown. Um, oh, last happy weekend. birthday. Thank <laughs> you, last weekend. Um, and so I'm going to go out and uh, have a night on the town. Um, so I think Good that'll be the you. first thing I do, is go out and celebrate my birthday um, and catch up. I think going to the cinema, um, having a night with the team as well. I think we will organise yeah. something as a hotel for the team. Um, adhering to any social distancing requirements, but I think something to to bring the team back together in a way. Yeah, that'd be celebrate. great. Yeah. Um, planning a holiday will be nice. Um, mm. Mm. And seeing my parents as well, because they are, they're, they're near, near enough 70 and they've taken the 12 week isolation very seriously. So not being able to see them and, and hug them and so on has been, has been tough as well. Um, I think w but welcoming back the team um, to the hotel will, will be yeah. the thing I look forward to the most. Um, yeah, once, once we, we, really we can't wait. <laughs> yeah. so it's been really lovely to chat to you. Um, you too. Point in our chat where I'm giving all of the venues that I speak to an opportunity to um, list three great things about your venue. So I'm going to hand over to you to tell us three great things about the Hilton Cambridge City Centre. Okay, thank you very much. So we are the largest and most centrally located premium hotel in Cambridge. Uh, we're located next to uh, John Lewis and the shopping centres as well as the colleges and the attractions. Uh, we do tend to take the larger group up into Cambridge um, and we can accommodate the larger residential conferences. With 200 bedrooms at the five metre and up to 200 theatre at the moment, um, we can take the larger residential conferences here in Cambridge throughout the whole year. Uh, and I think that's two out of my three. And I think the last one uh, <laughs> would be the Hilton Honours Programme. Um, there's a lot of independent hotels in Cambridge, but being under the Hilton banner here in Cambridge, we have the loyalty programme where you can earn points not only by staying in the hotel, but through organising meetings as well. And we have the event uh, planner bonus scheme for Hilton Honours members where you can earn, you don't have to stay in the hotel, but if you organise meetings or events, earn those points as well and that's both for booking agents uh, as well as organizers within companies as well who are organized events so that that really does give us an edge um over a lot of our smaller competitors um uh, in terms of you get something back uh, for, for bringing oh. business to us oh thanks richard that's a really good rundown i think uh, dasha seems to have abandoned us so he has dasha come here cheerio to dasha i've, I've got dasha. a treat for him oh ah, brilliant come dasha come there we go there he is. Hey! Yeah, you got that? <laughs> Give me four. Very good. There we go. Good boy. <laughs> oh, great to chat to you. Thanks so much. You too. Take care. Bye, Richard. Take care. Bye.